What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. He's shy. Anyways, it's been a hot minute since we hit you with any videos. So, we're going to show you what we've been doing lately. Um, we got a few toys here in the garage. Um, so let's run through them real quick. Here. This one is Daddy's. We got a 2018 uh, KLX 110, automatic, uh, semi-automatic, no clutch, and uh, I bought it stock, and then I had to put the works on it. Um, I put the Pro Taper bars, the new grips, the longer cables, um, the bigger uh, foot pegs here. And the new You know, new stopper. brake lever, um, peg shifter, uh, flip back lever. And then I also did the, I put the heavy duty shock in there. And then I also did the fork springs up front. Obviously, I'm an adult, so this is I uh, a little bit heavier, so I needed a stiffer ride. I tried to jump it a few times, bottomed it out, made a not good sound. So that was something that had to be fixed immediately. Next, we picked up a couple TTR 50s. Yeah. Whose is this one? Mine. This one right here. Oh, Jackson's. That's Jackson's. He's at school. He can't be with us right now. Um, the bars were bent on that, so I went on the old Amazon and found these bars. They're like 30-something bucks, I think. 32 bucks. Came with grips and the bars. Honestly, not too bad for the price compared to, like, the Pro Taper bars were closer to 100, 100 bucks. But these are actually pretty cool. I sit, a, sit a little bit lower, but good for uh, for Jackson. Good for him. Uh, I think we might actually be getting rid of this bike just because this one's built for an adult too. It's got the heavy-duty shock, the heavy-duty springs up front, and the tall seat and all that. So it's kind of a little hard for him to ride. Then we got My Jameson's bike. He's got a stock 2017. TTR 50 uh, It's been laid down plenty of times already between both of the boys uh, The boys really like the sea boys uh, Channel with their pit bikes and dirt bikes and stuff. So we had to order some merch So they, of course they got the sticker on their bikes even this one right Dad? Yep And then other than that that one's pretty stock. We're definitely gonna keep that one. I think we're just going to I think we're just gonna look for another stock one and uh, I think you just run two stock ones for now. For this, and this right there. Oh, okay. Anyways, so along with the works on the green bike, on my bike, uh, I just wasn't really feeling the stock green plastics. And I really wanted to step it up. So, I got a new set of plastics and a new set of a new graphics kit for it. Kind of crazy, i never really seen these um, holographic, I don't even know there was holographic, but I went to Senge, I think it's Senge Graphics. Um, I've ordered graphics kits from them before. I think they're good priced and pretty good quality. Um, so yeah, I went back for another set, but I mean, these things are pretty gnarly with the holographic. I can, bring it out into the into the sunlight maybe i don't know if you guys can see that but it's uh it's pretty sweet had to go with the old red white and blue we're americans we're proud to be americans here and we love our country so red white and blue beautiful colors can't go wrong anyways i just put the graphics on this morning now i'm gonna put them on the bike and then uh I'm not going to make you guys watch that because it would be boring. But I'll show you guys the reveal on what it looks like after we're done. Alright y'all. <clears throat> that actually, uh, that rear fender was a little bit more of a pain in the butt than I thought. But, we got her done. 
and it looks pretty just as screaming America. So we'll give you the walk around on the bike. Of course now, I would planned on doing green stuff, obviously Kawasaki, but then I changed to the red, white, and blue. So I've got a new seat coming, so it won't be green seat. And I'll probably end up swapping the grips out for, you know, maybe some blue grips or white or red grips or something like that. But anyways, here we go. Pow, pow. That's kind of dark. Can you guys see that? So obviously we're going to get a new seat. But other than that, I mean, I love it. I think it looks good. Graphics took me a little bit of time. You kind of got to have some patience and get them all lined up and everything. I mean, the front fender had two pieces, one piece, then this piece and that piece. I mean, there was a lot of pieces on that, but what do you think, Jam? They look cool on. Looks cool. I yeah. like it. Me too. Do you think we should change out? Uh, you think we should change out the grips to a different color? These? Yeah, cause we got a we got a black seat coming. Um, yeah, we should. We should change them. Yeah. So we got uh, West Coast Outdoor Boys. Four two four was the number. Uh, we're baseball fans. So forty two for Jackie Robinson. Forty two Jackie Robinson. Twenty four Ken Griffey Jr. Both legends. We love baseball. Obviously, we also love dirt bikes, but yeah, if you guys are looking for graphics, maybe check these uh, S-E-N-G-E, -E, Senge Graphics out, I don't know if I said that right, but other than that, I'm pretty dang happy with it, West Coast Outdoor Boys, 424, American Flag Baby, we love America. That's gonna wrap up this little video. Just uh, wanted to show you guys the bikes, show you what we've been doing lately. Um, obviously, probably gonna sell this one here with the gold bars. I think that one's gonna go bye-bye. And then we're just gonna look for another stock TTR 50 um, for Jackson. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate any comments, any likes, whatever. You don't have to, obviously, but we appreciate it. Uh, the boys like reading the comments. So if you guys got anything to say, drop her down there. Uh, that's it. Catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully we'll be riding these bikes next time on the next video. All right, later.